So OneNote Clark has talked for years about why it makes sense for people approaching retirement age to delay as long as they possibly can taking Social Security. And in large numbers, people take Social Security at age 62 thinking, hey, I got to get the money while I can, don't know how long I'm going to live, blah, 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 blah. And what happens is that you have then set yourself up to have a smaller Social Security payment for the rest of your life, which is fine if you don't live as long as you might like, but gets ugly if you live longer than you would expect. Because what you get up front is a much smaller monthly payment when you take it at 62 or 63, whatever. And then the rest of the way, all your adjustments happen off that much lower base. And that's what I've talked about through the years. And there have been people who have been very unhappy with me, obviously, because almost nobody waits till the last possible date, which is age 70. But right now, with what's going on with interest rates in the economy, waiting to take Social Security is the most brilliant idea it's ever been. Unless you know you're uh, not in good health, your lifespan expectation is very short, you want to wait as long as you can between age 62 and 70 as you possibly can. Here's why. With interest rates as low as they are right now, you would be better off delaying Social Security and spending whatever money you have in savings than it would be to preserve those savings by taking Social Security early. The reason is, is that the increase you get every year you delay taking Social Security is so valuable and is much more than the effective amount that your money can earn that you have right now in savings or CDs that it's better for you to deplete some of those savings if you need to rather than to go ahead and take Social Security. Now, that is an additional factor that makes the argument even stronger for delaying when you take Social Security because of the Federal Reserve artificially holding down interest rates. Now, I know that for the most part, well, nobody's really going to listen to me about this, but I can certainly try because the return you get by waiting effectively, the imputed return on your money is much higher than you're likely earning on your money right now, particularly if it's in savings or CDs. With stocks, well, who knows in terms of what the return would be like over the years between age 62 and 70. By delaying Social Security, though, it's a sure thing. And by the way, if you've already started taking payments at 62 and you say, why didn't you tell me this before now? If you're early in doing so and you can afford to, you can take money you do have earning basically nothing in savings, pay back Social Security what you've received, and then pick it back up later at a much larger benefit. That's a possible strategy you could use to turn back the clock on having accepted Social Security at an early age.